God has guided Lisa and Fred to this moment and has blessed their love and brought them together. Marriage is a gift of God given to comfort the sorrows of life and also to magnify its joys. Marriage is the clasping of hands, the blending of hearts, and the union of two lives as one. And I thank God that uh, he's found a husband in my, my son. I pray that God will continue to bless them, that they will seek God first in everything that they do. They have to ask God for discernment, wisdom, and discretion in whatever they do. And I pray that they will love each other, support each other, bless each other with kind words, that they should listen to each other often. And I believe God will continue to bless them. Do whatever you have to do to maintain the unity in your relationship. Let nothing, no thing come between you and your spouse. There isn't a test created by man that can measure your intelligence or creativity. There isn't an excerpt of poetry that could exemplify the love that I have for you. I don't remember the day we met, but other than the time I stole her last starburst or our epic fight in high school, we've been pretty inseparable ever since. Lisa's not only my sister, but my closest friend. She's my go-to person when I need a listening ear, the one who keeps my Sasha fierce in check, uh, my movie partner, my roommate, and she keeps my plants alive. Thursday, July 20th, 2017 was the day that I met Fred at a PT rehearsal. And our love for Gogo, the DMV, and more specifically, our love for our mother, Ghana, Aquaba. Aquaba was the thing that just really sealed the deal, like, this is my brother. This is definitely my brother. Fred, it's impossible to put into words how much I love you. You came into my life when I was least expecting it, and you've given me butterflies from the very beginning. Not a day goes by that I don't thank God that he caused our paths to cross that Sunday in front of the PT office building. I am truly blessed today because I get to marry my best friend. These rings are very large in their significance made of precious metal. They remind us that love is not cheap, nor common. Indeed, love may cost the both of you very dearly. Made in a circle, the design tells us that love must never come to an end, that you must keep love continuous. To Fred and Lisa, may you continue to have a prosperous and joyful life together. Here, here, cheer, cheer. Cause you do much for me and won't let me go. But you're good to me, it's one thing I know You do much for me and won't let me go 
God, you're good to me. It's one thing I know. Uh, Lord, you're good to me. So good to me. Good to me. Lord, you're good to me. So good to me. Good to me. Lisa, you are my BFF. The yin to my yang. My other half. I cannot believe that anyone can deserve you, but it appears I am overruled. So I heartily give my consent. I could not have parted with you, my Lisa, to anyone less worthy. (laughs) I just wanted to say that it's just an honor and a privilege to be serving in this capacity. God bless you both. Kayla and I are here for you. We're here with you. We're only a phone call away. We just, we just want to let you know that you're loved, and you, we, we're your, we're your village, we're your family, and I just want to take this moment to salute you to Fred and Lisa. You may now seal your promise in this wedding ceremony with a kiss. I present to you for the first time in history, Mr. and Mrs. Frederick and Lisa Osamoa Jr. Yeah. <laughs>